All right, so starting off first here is going to be a 1909 S Metmark. So the S Metmark, if you guys are new to coin collecting, will be under the date 1909 itself. Now, what makes this coin valuable is that it has an S Metmark over a horizontal S. So here is an example of that taking place on a 1909 S. You can see the horizontal S underneath the S that is vertical, the way it is supposed to be. So that's something that you will have to look for with your coin microscope. Now I have those available on couchcollectibles.com. I don't want to make this a commercial, so let's just keep going here. This coin is not in the best shape. It is graded at an AU58, which is, you know, it's a 1909. It's not going to be in the best shape, uh, but, you know, it's not a mint state grade or anything like that. However, the coin did sell for over $225 as a result of that S over the horizontal S. Now here is another example of a 1909 S. Now if you find or come across a 1909 S, you want to look on the back of the coin at the bottom. If it has the VDB, you are super, super lucky because that coin is extremely rare. They only produced around 484,000 of those coins. Now that's not the 1909 S without the VDB, it's the 1909 S and it has to have that VDB initials on the back of the coin. Now this coin here sold for over $1,400. It is graded at a mint state 63 and it's got a brown grade. If the coin was graded at a red grade or it had a higher mint state grade, it would sell for you know, tens of thousands. Some of them sell for tens of thousands. I've talked about that in my 1909 penny video, so feel free to check that out. Let's move on to the 1914 D mint mark. Now you can tell that this coin has been circulated. It's not in the best shape, but it's definitely not in the worst shape by any means. The coin grading skill goes from one to 70. This is at a AU55. So, you know, pretty decent grade. And this coin did sell for around $1,500. So $1,500. Now that is because this is a key date. So if you come across a 1914D, you definitely want to hold on to it. Even in worn down condition, these coins can still sell for, you know, good money. Here's an example of one right here. This is a 1914D that's worn down. It's only graded at a good four. This coin still sold for over $130 in this condition just because it's a genuine 1914D. They did not produce many of those coins either. They produced around 1.2 million, 1.1 million of those coins. So always be on the lookout for the 1914D. Here's one more example of that coin. However, it's in an extremely, extremely good condition. It has a high grade of a mint state 65 plus, and it has that red grade. This penny sold for over $28,000. Can you believe that? 28 grand. Let me know what you guys would do with 28 grand in the comments below. Now, also another date that you always want to be on the lookout for is the 1922 Lincoln Wheat Cent. Now, for the 1922, they only produce these coins with a D mint mark. So if you find the 1922 without a D mint mark, that means that it will be very, very valuable. And of course, it always depends on the condition of the coin and it depends on the reverse of the coin, whether it has a strong reverse or not. Now that I cover in my 1922 penny video. So definitely check that out. Now this coin in this condition at a mint state 62 brown sold for over $16,000. Ooh, can't beat that. Here's a 1924. Now we don't really cover this coin a lot and I feel like it gets overlooked a lot because we always talk about the 1914D, the 1931S, and the 1909S VDB, talking about those being the low mintage. However, the 1914D, they only produced around 2.5 million of those coins. So you know, that's a coin to always be on the lookout for as well. 1924D. This one here is graded at an AU55 and this penny sold for over $180 in this condition. So had it been a mint state grade, it would have sold for a lot more money. Now, like I said, the 1931S is a key date to look for as well. So in this case, this coin sold in 2020, just like all these other pennies. But the 1931S, they only produced 866,000 of these coins. So they're going to be super rare, really in any type of condition. But in this condition, it's going to be super rare as well. This coin here sold for over $440 
at that Men's State 65 grade. Now here we have a famous 1955 double die penny. What's interesting about this coin is that it only sold for around $1,700. And the reason I say only is because some of these coins sell for tens of thousands of dollars. And that's because of the grade of the coin. Now this one is graded by PCGS as a genuine coin. However, it has a questionable color. So what that means basically is that at some point someone tried to tone this coin or uh, clean it up to make it look nice. Uh, you know, someone tried to change the color of this coin to make it look like a red penny maybe instead of a brown. The toning of the coin is not natural is what I'm trying to get to. So it's questionable by PCGS. That's why it's only graded at a genuine. Now high graded examples of these pennies that double die obverse you see the doubling on all the lettering and the date 1955 itself high grade examples will sell for th thousands i mean tens of thousands this one here sold for around 1700 so you know keep in mind when you're going to the bank you're getting rolls of pennies from your bank on your 1955 you want to inspect those coins closely as you want to with all pennies but those are super super rare coins the 1955 double die obverse same thing with this 1969 penny. This is going to be super rare as well. So it has the doubling on the front of the coin, just like the 1955. You'll see that on all the lettering as well as the date here, 1969 itself. So this coin here sold for over $16,000 with that AU58 grade by Annex. That is just amazing. And again, this is a brown penny. So had it been a red penny at a mint state grade, it would have sold for a lot more than 16,000. I've shown some that have sold for, you know, a lot more money. So feel free to check those videos out here on the channel. 16,000 for that Lincoln cent. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.